Hello, and a very warm welcome to this course on Affinity Photo. My name's Ian Anderson, and I'm an Apple certified trainer for Final Cut Pro. I've used Photoshop for over 20 years professionally, and Affinity Photo since it was released. In this course, I'm going to be showing you how to retouch images, how to color correct images, how to perform selections, and how to work quickly. I like to teach best practice whenever I'm retouching images, and as a long-time Photoshop user, I'm pleased to see that there are some aspects of Affinity Photo which are even better than the way which Photoshop does it. Now, this is a cross-platform app now. I'm on a Mac, but you can follow along even if you're on a PC. You'll want to be careful that you're using the right shortcuts. So just look down here in the bottom left corner to know exactly which modifier keys you need to hold down to perform a particular operation, because some of them aren't quite what you're going to be expecting. I'm going to be showing you how to use adjustment layers to perform common corrections. I'm going to also be showing you how to use filter layers to affect all layers underneath without having to mess around with smart objects. We're going to be looking at how to use brushes, how to paint brushes, change brushes quickly so you can bring some areas into focus while leaving others blurry, and indeed how you can get a halfway effect very quickly indeed. Before we get started though, a couple of quick notes. First, you can use this in full screen mode if you wish. Just press the green button. Though through this course, I've left the menu visible just to make it easier when we go into the menus. If you want to show or hide any of the floating panels, you can hit tab. So you can bring them back or hide them as you wish. And if you want, there is also a separated mode. Now in the separated mode, all the windows become completely separated and the panels will float. I found this a little messy, so in Affinity Photo, I prefer not to use separated mode, but to keep everything together. Now with all those things aside, I think you'll have a really good time on this course. I've tried to keep it simple and I won't be going through every single feature just what I think are the most important ones that most people will use in common color correction and retouching situations. To get going, I'll take you on a quick tour through the user interface. Let's get started. 